Hey guys, welcome back to Legendaries Unleashed. I hope you're having a good week and that you're excited about the weekend. Some cool things coming up starting on August 3rd is the official release date of Celestial Storm. Then there's a couple events that seem to be happening over the weekend. Up here there's one at Toys R Us on August 4th starting at 11 o'clock in the morning where you are able to go ahead and get your hands on a free Pokemon card. And then I think there's actually going to be a GameStop event on August 5th. I'm not sure exactly about the details, but I saw something about it on Poke Beach's website, so I will find the link to that and leave it in the description box down below. So hopefully everybody can make it out to one of these events and get your hands on whatever is going to be handed out, or, you know, just go enjoy yourself, have a good time. That being said, we're actually not going to be opening any TCG products today. I figure with the new set coming out and me having stuff that's going to be coming in and hopefully showing up the beginning of next week, We'd go ahead and open this box that I actually just received that has some figures in it that I don't think I could wait too long to get into. It is the Seaside Pikachus. Now this is a Pokemon Center exclusive and it is a Remint figure collection and there's 10 of them in here, but I didn't expect this to actually show up when it did. It came a lot faster than I thought. Usually it takes a couple weeks. This actually only took a couple days to get here and I just, I don't think I could wait all that long to get into these. Because look how adorable these little Pikachus are. They're, like I said, there are 10 of them in here. My first time opening one of these, I think they had a parade version before, but I missed out on that. So when I saw this come up, I knew we had to get our hands on them. And I believe we should have a full set here, because it is a brand new box. Get these all out. Go ahead and take a peek at the box here itself. Very cute. I do like that you can attach them together and it tells you on the side here what each of them are in English as well. Don't know if I've seen anybody open these on YouTube yet. They are fairly new. I believe they came out partway through last month. So, or closer to the end of the month, I think. Anyway, here we are. Very cool. Ten of these to get into. Like, And uh, let's just do this. You know all of the Pikachu stuff. It's going to be awesome. I don't think you get a piece of candy in these ones, but you do get a little checklist here so you can keep an eye on those and see which ones you've gotten. And overall, one of the things I like the most is the detail on these ones. And like I said, you can rearrange them whichever way you like. They have nice little stands to them, and uh, they're Pikachus, so make sure we don't lose any pieces here, and see if we can get these put together nicely. Kind of got to put this little plastic piece in Pikachu's bottom there, and then get it stuck to this little board. So... All of them have a little base kind of like this. I think I just put it on the wrong way because there is texture on this side. So we've got the sand and the water. And he's got a little watermelon here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I think let's let's take a peek at the image here. How is that? Oh, I guess it just lays right on there. However you like. And you can put it off to the side. So we'll just keep them in the background, I guess, and move on to the next one. Don't want to take too, too long. There are 10 of these to get through. And knowing me, this could take a little while. Try and see if... I'm trying to make sure I actually keep everything on camera. It's always a little bit more difficult. I should have probably changed the camera angle here. So you can see everything a little bit better, but try and give you a little look-see at each piece before I put them together and then try and keep it in the background. So this one has a little chair. Like I said, you can kind of put them together if you want. Kind of slides together. Got the Pikachu in the chair here. And then there, yeah, you can go ahead and put them together if you want. Leave them separate. These are very cool. really like this. kind of think I should see if I can get some of those Parade Pikachus. 
because those were very interesting as well. And this little guy already has the piece stuck in his foot and has little sunglasses here. Um, how do your sunglasses stick on? Oh, I guess they just kind of stay up top. Anyway, you can go like that. Get them stuck into the boardwalk here. Having a good time. Oh, trying to get my camera to focus on them here. Does not want to do it. Come on. There we go. Sorry about the focus on that. My camera's being a little bit picky. I don't think it can handle all this Pikachu cuteness having overload because so many cute little Pikachus, so many cute little bigger pieces. Camera seems to not want to be doing its job here today. It's been giving me a little bit harder of a time recently, and I don't quite know why. Okay, so this one we have a little Pikachu here. Come on, there we go. Little Pikachu. Got a Lapras floaty, so Pikachu just floats around on Lapras there. And can go ahead and have them in the background. Might be a little bit because it's overcast. Why it's deciding to give me a hard time. And sorry, I'm a little bit froggy here. Been a little bit sick over the last little while. Okay. Oh, almost lost my tiny peg for Sailor Pikachu. Come on. There we go. So we've got a cute little Sailor Pikachu, which does need to have one of these plastic bits. So, very cool. Should show it to you actually after I put it on the little boardwalk piece. But I'm just getting so excited about opening these, it's like, just gotta open them all. Um, yeah, oh, this one's pretty cool. This one is a Pikachu that has sand all around it and kind of looks like a Snorlax. Just sleeping, having a good time, just relaxing, and they decided to put sand all around it. Very, very cute. This whole set is just adorable, and pretty much the reason I got it is because look how cute these are. If my camera could decide to do what it's supposed to here. Oh, I should have a tiny little piece in this one, don't I? Okay. Paying attention to the tiny little piece. Make sure I don't lose them because these little plastic pieces are not very big. And you do need them in order to make sure that these little guys can stand up on the background piece there. Get zoomed in on our little Pikachu with some ice cream. One of my favorites. Love ice cream. Love Pikachu. Two of my favorite things in one piece. And then he just kind of stands there and, oh gosh, I'm going to spill my ice cream. No! That is also how I feel if I were to spill ice cream, Pikachu. Also, how I would feel. Just rambling at this point because I'm so excited. And trying to make sure everything is working here because it is, um being a little fickle and it's always the times when you're excited and there's things that you really want to show off that the camera decides to kind of do its own thing here. We've got a, another cute little Pikachu different face there with a um, Sandy Ghast. I think this is Sandy Ghast. Whoop. Oops, sorry about that. And they go together, just hanging out here, Pikachu, with a Sandy Ghast. Look how, just look at that beautiful scene though. We've still got two to go and look at all these Pikachus. Just having a good time, hanging out at the beach, doing what all of us want to do over summertime. Just having a good time. 
And which one is this? There. Oh, I think the one with Pikachu and Eevee is going to be our very last one, which is exciting. And this one. Let's go ahead and see what this one is. Oh, two different things. Um, so this one has to have a little piece put in there. Because, come on. Never had my camera give me so much trouble here. Just does not want to do what it's supposed to. Go ahead and put the little Pikachu in there. And then I think... Oh, no. The Pikachu should be in the blue part. Which means I have to try and fix that. So there's two holes in this one. One for that. And then we have a little Pokeball, uh, volleyball kind of thing. That goes right in there. So Pikachu playing Pokey Volleyball. And then our last one, which I think should be the one with Eevee and Pikachu. And one more to go. I don't think these ones have any extra small bits. But this is something I think is cool, is the last one here. I do have another small piece. Um, where does this go into? It goes right into Pikachu, Pikachu's stomach. And this one is Pikachu and Eevee, and it's actually a female Pikachu. Look how super cute that is. So it is nice that they throw in a female Pikachu every once in a while. So we've got those two hanging out. Um, this peg doesn't seem to go in as easy as some of the other ones. I might have to try and figure that out later because I'm thinking I don't have this in here properly because it should they should be like this but this peg does not want to cooperate there we go does that work there we go okay so it should look like that and I really should have changed the angle that I did this at I didn't even think about that because I've still got it set up to my TCG angle but here we go there's a cute little Eevee and Pikachu. You could turn her around this way too. I think probably is the better way. But overall, wow, look how adorable these are. There's so many different kinds. You've got your cute little Sailor Pikachu, Pikachu with ice cream. These might end up making their way into the background. I haven't decided. And you can go ahead and put them together if you want to. Leave them separate. It's just very cool the fact you can go ahead and make your own kind of like boardwalk scene or beachy scene with all these different little figures. I think it's a lot of fun and I hope they come out with more of these because I will definitely need to get my hands on them. They're a pretty good sized figure which is nice as well and the detail on them is just just amazing like come on look at look at that face. Look at the detail on this. That's really really cool. Anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry again about my camera being so wonky today but I hope you guys enjoyed this opening. If you did please leave it a like. Let me know if you make it to any of those events over the weekend, and I'll see you next time, guys.